if I feel a little frisky, you know what I mean? You said what do his feet look like? But can it hold 200 plus pounds? Oh. Um, oh, Lord. Yeah, I'm, I'm old, okay? I'm not. Yes! Uh, what are you trying to go for? I'm too sexy for this chain. Too sexy for your game. Too sexy for this fame. Yeah, yeah. I'm too sexy for the trap. Too sexy for that cap. Too sexy for that chap. Yeah. Hey guys, before we get started with today's vlog, we do have a sponsor. I want to give a big shout out to Blackout Bingo for sponsoring today's video. So you guys know I talk about playing Blackout Bingo all the time. So if you are anything like me and you love playing games on the go, then Blackout Bingo is the app for you. So just tell you a little bit about Blackout Bingo. Blackout Bingo is a mobile game where you can win actual money just by playing bingo. The way it goes is you and your competitor are given the exact same bingo card and then the bingo numbers start getting called faster and faster. So this is a game all about speed. So winning is based entirely upon how fast you react. So it ain't about the mental, it ain't about who's the smartest, it's about who's the fastest. So if you think you're a fast reactor, a fast typer, a fast texter, then this is the game for you. Put that skill to the test and win you some real money. So Blackout Bingo is owned by Skills, who hosts casual tournaments for millions of mobile players worldwide and distributes millions of dollars every single month. So the great thing about Skills is they do pride themselves on matching mobile players with their same skill level. So you don't have to be worried about going against a pro who's been playing for a year and it's your first time playing. Everybody's skill level is gonna be the same. So if you're a beginner, you're gonna be matched with a beginner. If you intermediate, you're gonna be matched with an intermediate person. Or if you are an expert, like I like to think of myself, you might be matched against me. And if you wanna play for free, just for fun, you can do that. You can play head-to-head -head tournaments against people for absolutely free, just for the fun of it. But if you are playing for cash, you can cash out at any time. So it's now amazing. You do not have to go down to your local bingo hog. You can play a fast-paced game with Blackout Bingo, win you some real money, and you can do it in the comfort of your own home, your car, at work, on your lunch break, whatever. So y'all getting started is super easy. Just click the link down below. Use my code GIVE5 and you'll get an extra $5 in free cash to play with when you make your first deposit using the app. So yeah, it is a super fun game. I've talked about how I love playing in many of my past vlogs. What's better than doing something fun and you can actually win money at it? You guys check out Blackout Bingo. Don't forget to use my code GIVE5 and you never know, you might get matched against me. I'm gonna kick your butt. But you might get matched against me, though. <laughs> Once again, thank you so much to Blackout Bingo for sponsoring today's video. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Y'all, it feels so good. I have not filmed in a week. A week. Last time I filmed was last weekend when I was in Vegas with the girls. It's a whole new weekend. So, happy Friday, or whenever you guys are watching this. I'm getting ready to go to the gym. I'm listening to Glamazon Tay, her Q&A. I have not worn these Air Max in forever. There's some um, cream colored Air Max that I have found on clearance at, I was about to say Journeys. It's not Journeys, I can't remember where, but it's been like, I probably had them about a good four, five years. Uh, and then I have all my green Nike tank that I found at Ross for like $7.99. And then a black Old Navy sports bra. And then my Tommy John uh, leggings. I worked with them. So these are literally like the best leggings. They fit so freaking good. And they don't fall down when like you squat and stuff. It's worth the investment. But y'all know I'm cheap when it comes to stuff that I'm going to sweat in. Yesterday I took the kids to the water park um tuesday i had took them for hibachi that's what ashton requested um i told you guys i just this summer is all about of course having me time but i want to do whatever the kids want to do you know the kids had never been to hibachi if y'all follow me on instagram y'all would have seen already because i did a uh, i made a reel on instagram the kids first time going to hibachi child when them flames came and they start doing all the little heartbeat at benihana and the train with the onion and the fire and <laughs> they loved it they enjoyed every minute of it and it felt good for me to just 
not have to worry about picking up the camera to film. So that's why I haven't filmed in a whole week. Sometimes we just want to live life and we don't have to, we don't have to worry about work, you know? I love y'all, but mama want to chill sometimes. You know, most of my Nike hats, hats came from either Dee Dee's or Ross. And they're $12 there. They're always $12. But this one I paid full price. It was like $28, something like that. So this is the look. Neutral and black. Well, black is a neutral, so. Um, I'm going to put on some Zara perfume. Oh, okay, just finished my workout. Is my camera fogged up? It is. Why? Hold on. Oh, I guess because it's hot as hell. It's a 95 degree day, and I just cut the AC on blast. There we go. Hello. Okay. Ooh, I left salsa in my car for over 24 hours. I went to uh, El Pollo Loco yesterday for lunch. I had a keto burrito. When I tell you guys, it was so good and big and just so good. So their um, keto burrito is grilled chicken and it was like flame grilled. Uh, cabbage, lettuce, tomato, avocado. And I think it comes with a little bit of like a cream sauce. 10 out of 10. And if you bank with um, Bank of America, they have a 10% rebate. Bank of America app. Click on rewards and then it shows all different retail stores, restaurants. And you, if you just swipe your debit card to eat, you get uh, cash back. I'll tell you guys, I don't care how much money I make. When I become a millionaire, because I will be a millionaire one day. I'm speaking it over my life. I will still be shopping discount. I will still be using coupons. I will still be using all type of rate rebates. I'll still be scanning my receipts with uh, Fetch Rewards. If you guys don't know what Fetch Rewards is, no, it's, this video is not sponsored. But your girl did get a long-term sponsorship with them. Long-term. They hit me up two days ago, bitch. And they like, you want long-term? I'm like, yes! But anyway, yeah, Fetch Rewards is just an app. Y'all know I've been using Fetch Rewards for years since I started youtube i told you guys about it so i just get excited every time i just think about how full circle everything comes for me but anyway yeah i'll put my uh code on the screen you scan your receipts and you get points and those points turn into gift cards so if you if you first time signing up use my code that's going to be on the screen and then um when you scan your first receipt you get a free two thousand points which is two dollars added to your account so anyway yeah uh oh i'm tired tired i'm tired what do i need to do i need to find a trash can and throw this stinky ass salsa away like it literally smells like feet so we're actually headed to a new place that my good sis my good sis rochelle chanel she been going here for the longest where is it is it inside the mall or is it outside the mall oh shoot um anyway it's a store called crazy boss it's pretty much like Dee Dee's times 10 uh, I actually went to two yesterday and I found a ton, a ton of stuff. I found leggings, jumpsuit, two-piece set, a ton of bathing suits, all for super, super cheap. We have one in Katy, which was, that was the real good one. I found a lot of stuff there. Um, then I went to the one on Highway 6, which is by West Oaks Mall. That one was okay. They didn't have any AC, which I was like... Come on now. I know y'all selling cheap clothes, but can we get some damn AC? I was damn near sweating. Uh, I, well, I was sweating. I ain't gonna say damn near. I ain't gonna lie. I was sweating. And that one was was just okay. So now this is the third one inside Sharpstown Mall. So we're gonna see how this one is. But yeah, y'all, Crazy Boss. It's it, they have name brand stuff. They have Nike, Adidas. Um, I seen some Fashion Nova items in there. So it's just like, you know, Dee Dee's Ross, but just on a grander scale. Like the, the two that I went to yesterday were gigantic. So anyway, I'm gonna take y'all in with me. Y'all, this mall is horrible, awful. The reason why y'all have never heard me talk about um, the Sharpstown Mall is because it's like the ghetto flea market mall. It used to actually be a very, very popular mall when I was growing up like middle school, high school, like my mom used to actually drop us off here and we would meet all like the dudes and stuff. But um, now, horrible. 
So the only thing this mall is probably good for is like coming to buy jewelry. I wouldn't even say cheap clothes because mm -mm. I'm going to come to Crazy Boss and that's it. I don't even think they have like any name brand stores in here. I don't think there's like Forever 21. There's no like Foot Locker. Everything is like MD Fashion. That says Marissa's. That over there says Casanova, Platini. Like there's no name brand stores here. They have a Melrose. Melrose is like a rainbow. Except probably twice the size of rainbow. Oh, these little white shorts. Ashton loves white shorts, white leggings, white anything. $13? That's not bad. Oh no, $10.99. That's not bad at all. Excuse me, do you know what Crazy Boss is? Crazy Boss is you go out the store. Uh huh. And then you turn right and you go out the street. Oh, it's all the way at the end? Yeah, it's all the way at the end. Oh, it's at the end. Oh, okay, thank you. Here it is, y'all. And I walked smooth past it. I don't know how I did that. So just to show y'all prices, like this is a cute, like sexy satin robe. I absolutely love this. It's seven dollars. You can't even find a robe like this for seven dollars at Goodwill. So like all of these are sports bras, like nice sports bras. They're all five dollars. Y'all ever wonder what happens to merch that don't sell? Look at this. Twenty seventeen. <laughs> No, it's not used. Everything in here is brand spanking new. Boy, this is old because this looks like Bill Clinton. Y'all, they got a lab coat. Medical lab coat for $11. When I was working, I know I paid every bit of like $48 for my lab coat. Wow. These are cute and they're only $9. Sometimes I miss working in the medical field and wearing cute scrubs and cute shoes. Okay, I'm back. It's been like an hour since I left Crazy Boss. I found like three things. That's not a good location. That Sharpstown location is not a good location. No. But um, I'll try it on late for y'all later on when I get home and I'll show y'all. I had an Instagram video. If you follow me on Instagram, you already saw the stuff from yesterday. But I'll, I'll put them clips in here uh, whenever I try the stuff on. Y'all, I was just editing a picture for the gram. Not a picture. Pictures. Plural. Editing pictures is a freaking part-time job. <sighs> Lord. It's a part-time job. I had all my pictures posted had my little fly ass caption i had to hurry up and delete it real quick because one of the pictures that was like a group shot was like cutting people it was weird it like cut off half of one of the girls i was with and i'm like what the hell so i had to delete it and re-upload redo it anyway we are pulling up into a starbucks now it is 2 30 i have not had anything to eat all i've had today is water they have a new drink and a new sandwich so i have my fingers crossed that i will be able to try both and y'all they just overturned roe versus wade y'all know i really don't talk about like politics and stuff on my channel it just really saddens me it hurts my heart it's just very very sad um if y'all don't know what roe versus wade is it's your constitutional right to get an abortion <laughs> so they overturned that so now it's state by state each state will be able to make their own decisions and they said like four states already have immediately banned abortion and states like Texas and Tennessee are planning on banning it within like the next 30 days. I just feel bad for like the teenage girls, the unwanted pregnancies. Now people are going to be doing these home abortions and I just don't even want to think about it. It's just it's scary and sad. Hello. Hi. Do y'all have the chicken maple butter sandwich? Yes, we do. I'll take one of those. What else for you? Um, a paradise drink. Ref ice? Refresher, um, a grande, light gotcha. ice. Gotcha. And you wanted the one with the coconut milk, right? Yes, ma'am. Perfect. What else for you today? I, I have a question now. So the the pineapple passion um, refresher is that the same as the paradise drink? Is there what's it the? It is. It's just not made with coconut milk. So it's kind of like the other refreshers. We can make it with coconut milk. We can make it with water. We can make it with lemonade. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Anyways, I just. 
I'm, I'm just scared. I'm scared for like my daughter. I'm scared for y'all's daughters. Um, victims of rape. They don't have, they, they do not have that choice to make anymore, y'all. So I'm just, my, I'm very, I'm sad. I'm sad about it. I'm sad. <sighs> Thank you. Okay, so this is their new drink. It's called like the Passion Refresher, something like that. Y'all, I think y'all, y'all should have heard what she said on there. This one's made with coconut milk. The other one is the exact same, except you can substitute for lemonade or water. It doesn't have the coconut milk, but it's the same fruit and stuff. That's good. Wow. Mmm. Now this sandwich. This is a chicken egg maple sandwich. <laughs> it smells amazing. Mm, but it's way too hot right now. Like that is extremely hot. I'm gonna have to let that, that cool down for probably about like six, seven minutes. Okay. Did I even show y'all the breakfast sandwich? I don't even know if I showed it to y'all or not. I devoured it devoured now would i order order it again maybe it's okay it literally tastes like a gigantic um chicken nugget from mcdonald's it's not crispy um it's breaded but it's not crispy you know they probably just the meat probably sits in like a steamer or something i don't know the flavor is good if I want a chicken biscuit I, I, and with egg on it, I'll go to Chick-fil-A. Like, I wouldn't go to Starbucks. Starbucks needs to just stick to the pastries and the sandwiches and wraps and stuff. So, anyways, we are at Nordstrom Rack now. Why? Because I needed a thick black belt. And I found two beautiful thick black belts about three days ago at Nordstrom Rack. They were $20 each. And I'm like, yes yes but then i went to crazy boss yesterday and i found three belts that look just like these for five dollars five dollars each so needless to say i need my forty dollars back so that's why we're going to nordstrom rack then they're also having an additional 40 percent off all of their sale items excuse me i don't need anything i might try to find the kids some a couple little items well let me not even say the kids ethan because ash and too damn picky i don't buy her nothing unless it's like play clothes like leggings little track shorts and t-shirts anything else I, I i i can buy her jeans too she likes light blue light blue and medium wash jeans she doesn't like dark jeans so i can buy her jeans too but when it comes to like shirts and shoes and all that she gotta be with me ethan he don't give a damn i can buy him whatever so anyways so i'm about to say if i see anything for the kids i'll pick it up i really don't need anything for myself Maybe if I see him, maybe we'll see. Not the security at Nordstrom Rex said, have a good day, baby. In his deepest, bare white voice, baritone. I turned, I'm like, okay, you too, sir. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, that 40% off was pretty good. I ain't getting nothing for myself, but I got Ethan four pair of Nike sweats for the price of one really cheaper than the price of one they were like 10 three of them rang up ten dollars each and one rang up like nine and some change so that's cheaper than the price of one so that's a win-win right there it's hot you see i'm sweating you see my upper lip if one thing gonna sweat on me it's gonna be my neck and this lip okay My new shoes just came in the mail. Y'all know I love a clear heel. So these are them. This is like a, this is like a four inch heel. Y'all know my, my preference. My preference bitch is like three inches. 3.25 if I feel a little frisky. You know what I mean? Four inches is a little high, but it's a wedge. So I can handle it. They're by Jeffrey Campbell and I got them from um, Poshmark. And let me show y'all these other clear heels that I just bought. Ouch. Shoot. 
Where they at? Hold up. I think I showed y'all these. I bought these from Fashion Nova. And I haven't worn them yet. I got these from Fashion Nova probably like maybe a month and a half, two months ago. Super comfortable because look at that heel. This is like three and a half inches. This ain't four inches. This is like three and a half. This is a little bit shorter than, than that wedge. But I just bought these last week. These Steve Madden's. Look at that heel. Is this four inches? No, this is probably about three and a half. I got these from Nordstrom Rack. And they were like $65. All these heels are different, y'all. Y'all let men know. If you got a husband, boyfriend, they be like, why you got so many the same? Why you keep buying clear? They're different. Each one is different. Ladies, we know that all of these are different. <laughs> and they would only go with certain outfits. So let the men's know. Okay, y'all. So this is the dress that I got from Crazy Boss. It's a ribbed long sleeve dress with a hood on it. On uh, most people, it would be considered like, I mean, I guess this is still maxi, even though it comes like a few inches above my ankle. Or maybe it's midi. Anyway, I got it to wear with my Rick Owens sneakers because I think this is like a look. This is a look with my sunglasses, a black bag. This is just like a super cute, casual fall look. Even though we don't really have fall here in Houston, we go from summer to cold fronts, then back to summer. So anyway, this was $11. I wish they had it in a size medium. This is a small, so it's cutting off the circulation in my arms a little bit, but I mean, we gonna make it work. So, super cute. Like this, this, I love this look. I should have put my other shoe on so y'all can really see, but yeah, this gonna be fly. I'm watching my girl, Amina Coco. She's gorgeous. Gorgeous, do you see this face? That's no filter. That's no Instagram filter. That's natural beauty, okay? Ugh. Anyways, y'all. Y'all are not, y'all not gonna believe how much I pay for this dress. Where I'm gonna wear it to, I don't know. Could I get away with this like at brunch or something? It has a zipper in the back right here, which you don't need because it's very stretchy. It has this piece that like connects to your waist. Then it has like these droopy pieces here. And then it's like a halter around your neck and it's super long, like a gown, like almost too long. Y'all, this dress was $5, $5, not on sale. That's just the price. They had it in red also, but the red one, um, a lot of the strings were like popping out. Where am I going to wear this to y'all? It's so like, it's so long. I might get it hemmed and just wear it like as a, I don't know. This is giving like formal. I, I can see myself, or is it showing too much to be formal? Is it showing too much to be formal, y'all? Maybe it is. And then the material is like stretchy. But tell me why the tag, the tag says extra large, if y'all can see that. But on the inside of the dress, when I just put it on, it says extra small. So what the fuck? <laughs> All right, now I'm going to insert the clips from the stuff that I got yesterday when I wasn't filming. And I'm about to get in the shower, y'all. I'm about to wash my ass, cause I'm stinking. You know, I'm sweaty. Ashton kissed me and said my face tastes salty. So yeah. Then found some palazzo pants for $5 and they come all the way down to the ground on my towel self. Yep. $12 at Crazy Boss. I don't really like the pattern that much, but it's hard for me to find pants that come all the way down to the ground. So I went ahead and got it and the price is right. And then this was $13 and then all my little thought bikinis. Look at this, a gold bikini. How much was this? $13. Chocolate brown bikini, $13. Little animal print bikini. How much was this? This one was $11. This little one piece connected bikini, $9. And then this little, I don't know what you call this, but it's a one piece. 
Nine dollars. Go to Crazy Boss, y'all. So Ashton is looking at my magazines. I got a free magazine subscription from Fetch Rewards, guys, because I've been using them for so long. But anyway, Ashton says my magazines are boring. And I said that was the only social media that we had back in the day. When we would go in the bathroom and, and take a number two, we didn't have a phone to look at. We ain't have handheld video games or whatever. We ain't had nothing in our hand. We had magazines. And I had every magazine subscription. And magazine subscriptions back then were like $7.99, $8.99. I don't remember. Elle Magazine, Harper's Bazaar Magazine. Um, What other magazines were out there? Vibe. I had a subscription to Vibe Magazine. The so Source. You, so you had TVs? Yes, we had TVs. You should TVs. put one in your bathroom. A TV in my bathroom? Yeah. Ma'am, I was barely making it back then. First of all, that's when I was living with Grandma. I was a teenager. I was a kid. Then when I got on my own, we had phones, but we didn't have social media. So there was nothing to scroll through and look at on our phone. So I was still, I had to get my own magazine subscriptions. I couldn't put no uh, TV in my bathroom back then. Sure. Why not? Because I wasn't making no, enough money. I barely had enough money for the TV that I had back then. The TV that I had back then was probably a hand-me-down. Your grandma probably gave it to me. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> TVs were very, very expensive back then. TVs are more reasonable now. You can go to buy, get a big old flat screen TV for like two hundred dollars. Back I then, when I was when it when the flat screen TVs came out, they were like two thousand dollars. Well, yeah, because you had no phones or anything like this. This would be the only. We had phones, but we just phones were literally just for phone calls. That was it. I wonder why they were like thousand dollars. And if you wanted to text somebody, that was separate. You would you would get a, a messaging device called a two-way a two-way was m made just for messaging texting other people Wait, did you have a two -way we didn't way? call them text back then we called them a hey, two-way me two-way me two-way me yeah two-way then they came out with three ways three and, th way me. and then <laughs> then you could buy plans for texting on your phone you can have a certain amount of text per month with pop phone, pop oh Lord, yeah, I'm, I'm old, okay? I'm not about to keep going down memory lane. I'm old, I can tell. and I just, this is this too much, okay? Anyway, I'm about to do my hair. So, we have a sponsor for today's hair. Today's sponsor is Kalei Hair. I work with them all the time. I got me a nice long 26 inch unit. All the details of course will be down below. A coupon code, the links, all that jazz. Um, yeah, in your box you definitely get some goodies. Like always, they sent like a little necklace, a wig band, lashes. They sent this cap, but it's on my head now. And yeah, if y'all want to see how this hair is styled and how I apply my wigs and all that goodness, then you guys stay tuned. Let me close this door because, um, no. yes, mama got work to do Wait, and bills to pay. Okay. Don't call my name unless it's an emergency. Mommy. Don't play with me. Okay, y'all. So this is the hair right out of the packaging this is the texture curl pattern of the hair i am thinking that i might just keep it like this we'll see how it looks once it goes on my head but it's kind of giving me like crimped look at that it's giving crimped and y'all know i don't keep hair in its natural state i usually always flat iron it or curl it so We'll see once it's on. But anyway, it's a frontal unit. It comes parted down the middle, but of course you can change that if you want to. I'm gonna leave the parting. It's super long. All right, so let's get into it.
Okay, y'all, this is the finished look of the hair. And guess what? And guess what? I ain't do nothing to it. I didn't pluck the edges. I told y'all earlier that I was. I wound up not doing that because I was like, I don't think I need to. So I didn't, I didn't pluck. I didn't put anything on the lace, absolutely nothing. Literally all I did was create some baby hairs. Still consider this a glueless install, but I did use, you know, some guys to be hair gel. So anyway, um, and then I just put a little bit of concealer in the part and I think, I think it looks good. A little bit of a baby hair, just right there, doop, right there, doop. And that's it. I never do sideburns. If I do sideburns, I don't do sideburns. Let me ever say that. I never do sideburns ever. And then I left the pattern of the hair just how it is. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil just at the top because there's slightly some flyaways. Y'all probably can't see them on camera, but it's real slight. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on top just to smooth it out. Yeah, see that did the job. That did the trick. Wow, 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 I'm so impressed. <laughs> Let me stand up so you guys can see the length on me so you guys can really see how just, how long this unit is. So this is how the hair comes to me. It comes past my waist, sweeps the booty. This is how it looks in the back. I know it looks good. I can't see, but I just, I know it looks good. <laughs> this is legit one of those units. You take it out, you put it on your head, make your baby hairs if you want to. If not, you're, you're ready to go. Literally all I did was finger comb the hair and that's it. And I put a tiny bit of oil in it, literally like the size of a nickel. So you guys check down below to get all the specs of this hair. Use the link as well, use the coupon code, save some money, get you this unit. All you gotta do is put it on in the morning. You ain't gotta recurl it, you ain't gotta flat iron it. You ain't gotta do nothing to it, so get it, okay? Thank you once again to Kalei Hair for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Y'all, this hair literally looks so good. So good. And my skin is looking so good. I know, I'm going to. It's gonna be my new fave for the moment. You like it? Yes. Yes. Okay, y'all, so the girls canceled dinner. One of uh, my homegirls is sick. She said that she feels like she might have COVID. So then everybody's like, let's just reschedule for a time that we can all be together. So maybe next week, we'll see. So anyways, I'm about to eat some sushi because I bought this earlier today. It's just a crunchy California roll. California rolls are my favorite. And y'all, y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm really an influencer. I'm really an influencer. Look, look what I bought. I bought a steamer. <laughs> I bought a steamer. I need to steam shirts and pants and dresses and stuff. I'm not just like, I'm not gonna just throw stuff in the dryer anymore. And then some materials you can't use the iron on. So yeah, y'all know I'm not gonna be steaming my sheets. I'm not gonna be steaming my curtains. I'm not doing that typical other influencer shit. I'm gonna be steaming my clothes. <laughs> But yeah, your girl now owns a steamer and I just bought the cheapest one. The shit was like $20 from Target. So anyway, oh my God, my battery. What the fuck? I just had three bars. Now it's on orange. Some bullshit. Okay, we're back. I always keep you an extra battery on deck that stays charged up. Cause these batteries ain't about shit. It smells so good. It smells so good. I don't know how to use chopsticks, so we're eating with our fingers. Mmm, 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 mmm. So my friend who I went to Vegas with the first Vegas trip, he um he wants to meet up tonight. 
I want to go get drinks. It's around 11.30, so we'll see. I actually had plans with him last night. He made his reservations for this steakhouse called Taste. I think it's called Taste of Texas. I've never been before. But um, I was so tired yesterday after being at the water park all day, and I just told him, like, I'm not going to be able to meet you. So I told him the girls canceled today, so that was right up his alley. Mm, I need some water or something. Drink some zero sugar lemonade. My Christmas mug. Random question. Very random. But those of y'all who don't know how to swim, how? How is that possible? How do people just not ever learn how to swim? Especially people who live in the South. Like, what did you do as a child? Every summer we were swimming, either at a friend's pool. There was uh, two years we had a swimming pool in our backyard, this house that we were living in. We would go to a cousin's house, friend house. I mean, we was always at the pool. Like, how do you just not know how to swim? I don't, I can't comprehend that because like, did you just sit in the house all day and, and play video games and watch TV? And when you did go to the pool growing up, you just didn't get in the water? Like, how do y'all not know how to swim? I literally need somebody in the comment section to tell me how as a child growing up during your swimming years from age five to 13, 14, how did you not learn how to swim? And what made me think of it, Megan Thee Stallion just posted a, um, a reel, and she's on vacation, and she was like, I'm not getting in the water, I don't know how to swim, I'm not getting on jet skis, I don't know how to swim, and she from Houston. Like, girl, what did you do during the summertime? Like, I just would really like to know. My kids didn't know how to swim like fish. Like, we just got in the pool. Like, I never taught my kids how to swim. Like, we got in the pool with floaties on, and they would be on the edge of the pool with their floaties. Then once I got a little bit older, they would be in the section to where they would stand up and the water would still be like, you know, they would be, be able to stand up in it. And they would start like floating, paddling, and I don't know. Stay going to the pool and you just learn. It's like I never, I never got taught lessons, but I just, we stayed in the pool and I just learned it. Just like my brother and my sister, my cousins. And you know what? And there's kids out there. They don't know how to ride bikes. Now, I actually had to go out there and teach my kids how to ride a bike. It took Ethan, before he mastered it, like a month and a half. It took Ashton about a month and a half. But I was out there after work every day, running up and down the street in the heat pushing them, holding them on their bike, pushing them. You know, of course they knew how to ride with training wheels, but once it got to that where they had to ride with no training wheels, a regular two-wheeler, I had to actually go out there and teach them. So how is it kids out here that can't ride bikes? Like children that's eight, nine, 10, 11, and don't know how to ride a bike. That's the parents' fault. That's your fault. You letting your child sit in the house all day eat snacks, play video games, talk on the phone, watch TV, and you're not having your child go outside, that's the issue. That's the problem. That's the issue. I felt so accomplished. Like, I felt so good after I taught my kids how to ride bikes. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know. Like, parents, do shit with your kids. Have y'all ever soaked and used, um, child, well, I can't think of the name of this stuff. Sea moss. That's the name of it. Sea moss. You're supposed to soak it for three days and then you put it in another container. This is what I was told. I don't know if I'm doing it right, 
but this is what I was told. It smells weird. I'm going to say that. It's definitely soft and... Oh, shit. I done flung the juice on myself. Ew, and I just took a shower. Oh, my God. And I just told y'all this shit stinks. Ugh. Anyway, I'm about to put it in this dry container. I don't know if I'm doing this thing right. This is what I was told. And does this stuff go bad? Like, does it spoil? Like, what's the lifetime, lifeline on this? Because I think this ain't nothing but what, like a root? Child, I don't know. I think this the blind leading the blind, to be honest with you. I'm supposed to pat it dry with a paper towel. He ain't tell me that. My little, uh, my little youngin gave me this. He real into, let me not say, I'm about to say he real into being healthy. That nigga ain't real into being healthy. That nigga eats like shit, but he's trying to be healthy. Let me say that. <laughs> he's trying, he's trying his best. He's still a baby. Okay, so. I should call him. I just know he's working right now. Shit. Now he said put it in a jar. That's what he said. He's like, put it in a dry jar after it's soaked. I'm like, nigga, I ain't got no jars. Who just got jars? I got Tupperware. He was like, well, put it in that then. <laughs> okay. And I don't even know. Do I put it back in? Do I put it in the refrigerator? Or does it sit out? Like, can this spoil? Is this like how vegetables are? They got to be. I don't know. Anyways, let me um let me get my face together cuz my other boo thing about to take me out. <laughs> Your girl is last minute, but our trip is booked for tomorrow. <laughs> yes, our trip is booked for tomorrow. I just reserved the rental car, the hotel, and then I paid in advance for the um what's it called? Your tickets like tickets parking food ticket all that for the um the water park that we're going to so yeah and it's a bunch of us going it's just me and my kids riding in my car but um tanya and her kids coming tanya's best friend and her kids and then i think it's another chick with her kids so it's like a large group of us so anyway i'm excited the kids are excited because i've been telling them like we're gonna do something. We're going somewhere. We're going on a trip somewhere, but I don't know when, I don't know where. So anyway, it's booked. I just paid for everything. So that stress is off of me. <laughs> Y'all, why for the past two days, everybody been saying I look like light-skinned Keisha? I don't see it. I don't see it, but some of y'all here on Instagram, uh, here on Instagram, some people on Instagram and then some of y'all here on YouTube have been saying the same thing. You look like light skin Keisha. You look like light skin Keisha. I'm like, I don't see it. Maybe it's just the dark hair with these um, baby hairs. I mean, me and her are like the same skin complexion, but I don't. I don't see it. If y'all don't know who Lice Keisha is, her voice is so annoying. I don't listen to her music or anything. And she, like I said, she has one of them real like nasally voices. I just ain't with the young, you know, the little young generation of rappers right now. But anyway, I'll pop a picture of her right here. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I don't see it. She a cute girl. She cute, but. All right. What am I putting on? Because I've been procrastinating. I think I'm just gonna, y'all know me, leggings and a crop top. That always gets the job done. He said dress sexy and comfortable. Sexy and comfortable for a woman can mean like so many things. So, sexy and comfortable. I'll be him texting me. Oh, that's Jenny. Jenny! Hello. What's up? Girl, okay, let's do an outfit check. I just put on literally the smallest amount of makeup. I didn't even blend that good because it's underneath my eyes. It's kind of giving casket, but uh, I ain't about to change it. Anyway, so I do have a little bit of makeup on. Now let's see the outfit. Shirt, Zara. Jeans, Fashion Nova. Bag, Louis Vuitton. Shoes, Diddy's discount. 
watch JBW, of course. Bracelets, Louis Vuitton. Earrings, Louis Vuitton. And I need to put some lip gloss on because why did I get on camera with no lip gloss on? I don't know. I'm tripping. Like, why is you in the, you're guiding traffic? What the? He's like trying to direct traffic then like walking in the street. Like, what the fuck? You want me to hit you? Or you want me to stop or you want me to go? Hold up, I'm gonna put on some lip, lip gloss. Put my lips on. Girl, I don't know what the fuck sexy casual mean. Sexy casual means something different to everybody. Then he was saying he had an emoji of some shorts. So it, I'm like, okay, you got shorts on? He said, I'm casual. So. You should say, what's the feet look like? Because he got some stipples. <laughs> Wait, say that. You said, what do his feet look like? Uh, he, you know, those, they wear those he wears snickers. Oh, no, he don't wear that. He wears sneakers all the time. He wears shoes. Oh. Okay, so I'm one minute away. Why is this car in front of me driving so slow? They trying to park, that's why. Oops. This better not be no damn club. I know that. Because this is giving downtown club. Where the fuck are we going? Because I ain't bring no heels. He said dress down. You weren't supposed to bring no heels. Right. Glad I at least put a little powder on my nose, shit. Because I wasn't going to do that at first. Have I arrived? Is this the place? Lone Star Saloon? Is this not? Is this 1900? Hold on. Is this the address? 1900? It's like niggas out there shooting dice. I, that can't be it. Hold on. Okay, now this says club parking, but it doesn't... Child, where am I going? Jennifer. He, this him calling me. Hold on. Behind what? I don't know what I'm. I don't know what I'm. I'm looking for. What club? What's it called? Lone Star Saloon. Okay, I did just see that. Okay, hold up. Okay, it just looked kind of like small and dark, and then it was like three dudes, just like. Uh... Okay, I'm on another line with Jennifer. Let me go back to her. It says I'm two minutes away though. Hello, <laughs> bitch. That's it. That's the place. <laughs> he said he never been i said so what made you pick it he said he had met somebody there before he said it's it like he said he never went inside he had met somebody in a parking lot there before and they told him that it's a cool spot with drinks and a dj so oh my god Jennifer, I'm telling you, it looked like a, 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 an abandoned building. <laughs> Y'all be careful, shit. <laughs> and I was telling you, I was like, it's like, it don't look like it's a single soul in there. Can I do it? Yeah, I can turn left. Y'all, I'm trying not to pull my camera up. That place was like a fucking trailer. Not a trailer, a mobile home. That's that's the word, mobile home. That shit was like a mobile home. I wanted to film it, but it was so small. If I even if I pulled my phone out and held my phone sideways, people would have been looking like, "What's she doing?" You know what I mean? But anyway, one of his homeboys is actually thinking about buying that spot. We went to that homeboy's club like a month ago. Oh, he's on his way back. Fuck. Back home, y'all. Let me unbutton my pants, cuz. Oh, yes, Lord. We stopped and got barbecue. We went to Ike's Barbecue. Famous, famous barbecue spot. I got a chopped brisket, baked beans. And that tater salad. Mm, 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 mm. I should have got me a sausage sandwich. I shouldn't have got this brisket. It's good though. Mm. Had a great night. 
great night. The little spot we went to, like I said, that shit was like a fucking trailer. But he went there. He just he picked that place business purposes, which was fine. But still, I have a very long weekend ahead of me. It's like I almost want to end this vlog here. I know it's not enough footage. Y'all know I do hour long vlogs. It ain't hours worth of footage. Anyway, I'm gonna end it here because I'm about to devour this uh, food and the way I'm about to be eating and having barbecue and brisket flying everywhere. I don't need y'all to see that. I don't need y'all to judge me. I don't need y'all to see that. So I'm gonna catch you guys tomorrow when we pick this runnel up and we head to San Antonio. What's up, y'all? Welcome to another day in the vlog. I don't know if I'm gonna make this its own separate vlog. I don't think I am. I don't think I am. Anyway, welcome to another day in the vlog. It is Saturday. Um, I did a lot this morning. I just didn't take y'all along with me. I went and picked up the rental car. Jennifer came by. I had to go run a few errands. I had to do some editing on the video. Uh, we packed. <laughs> and yeah, now we're about to hit the road. So all the kids stuff is in my Betsy Johnson bag. And then all my stuff is in my tote and carry bag. I think that's what the name of the company is called. Yeah, tote and carry. They're a black owned luggage company. And I worked with them last year. They have really nice, high quality stuff. So I love this bag. And then let me show y'all my outfit. Y'all should already know. I'm wearing one of the Forever 21 athleisure sets. They're called like seamless athletic sets. So the sports bra, the leggings, I have every color. At this point, y'all should already know. I'll have it linked down below. Yeah. So the kids are ready. I'm watching my girl, Rochelle Chanel. The kids are ready. They're waiting on me. Tanya and her best friend and all their kids are all packed up and they're about to hit the road. She was asking, do you want to wait for us and we just follow each other? Me, I be, uh, I be just wanting to go. So maybe I will wait for her, but I think they coming from far away. Let me text her. We, we got about 45 minutes to an hour down. We got about two hours to go. They both knocked out. <laughs> and we met up at Bucky's with Tanya and her crew. When I tell you Tanya rolling deep, I think they about three, four cars deep. It's, it's about 20 plus people. So I think it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So I'm excited for our little family trip. But uh, let me put the camera down and I see y'all when I make it. Oh, and if y'all ain't never been to a Bucky's, I don't know if Bucky's are just Southern or just Texas. I I really have no clue. I really should have filmed in that Bucky's. Them Bucky's that are off of the interstates. Oh my God, huge! All the food you could, all, any type of hot food you could think of, they got it. The bakery items, just. Oh, I got me a barbecue brisket sandwich in this bag right here. I'm not hungry right now. I've been just munching on some chips and an energy drink. But please believe in probably about the next hour. Maybe not an hour because I still want it to be high. But uh, about 30, 45 minutes, you care about to tear into it, okay? Bucky's food is amazing. Okay, y'all, we just got to the room. It ain't going to be much of a room tour because it's, it's small and it's an it's a inn. We're staying at an inn. It's called the Marriott Fairfield Inn in San Antonio, Texas. We got the biggest room, which is called the executive suite. And let me do a spin so I you guys can see what the executive, what the smaller rooms look like. Yeah, I wonder, cause is this what the big room look like? I wonder how the smaller rooms look like. Cause <laughs> we not coming here again. This is the small room. No, this is not the small room. This she is the executive, the this is the biggest room. This is the biggest, most expensive you room You paid for the biggest room? Yes, I did. How much is this? It's so that's not worth it. Y'all don't need to, it ain't your money. So don't, wor don't worry about it. It's not worth don't it. Don't worry about it, enough. It's not worth it. So this is the room. We got a king size bed, TV, a little desk, chair, full size mirror, which is a plus. 
This is the living room. We got a pull-out bed right here. Wait, where's the pull-out? It's in there. I paid for it. It's in there. It say pull-out. Take the uh, cushions off. Oh, yeah, it's a pull-out. I see it. It's the size of like a full-size bed. So like smaller than the bed you have at home because at home you got a queen. Okay. Desk, another TV. And then right here we got a little kitchen nook. Bathroom and actual bathroom and shower. This is it. We only here for one night. One night. So anyways, uh, we're about to put on our swimwear. To go to the and pool. we're going to go. But I don't even know if I want to wear my swim shoes because it, they don't even seem like it'll be hot because of how... I mean, look at outside. It doesn't even look... Okay, y'all. Just put on my mom bikini, which is a mom bikini. It's actually a one piece, but it looked like a, it looked like a two piece. Yeah, it does. I got this from... Crazy Bull, no, Crazy Boss. I'm tripping. Crazy Bull is a strip club. <gasps> My bad. Uh, I got this from Crazy Boss. It was nine dollars. Bubblegum pink. Everything's covered up completely. Covered up, but still sexy. But yeah. What are you trying to look good for? <laughs> really? Yes. Really? But still sexy. You don't need to oh. that. You don't need to say that? I don't need to say that? No. You don't need to say that. Okay, well, you don't need to say that. But right I'm putting there. my white pants on over top of it. And y'all are going to see this again. Ethan, cut that down. That's actually my phone. Oh, who's cut that down? <laughs> I'm putting my white pants over top of it because I can't just have the ass out like that. But yeah, I was going to say, y'all going to see this again tomorrow because I only bought one bathing suit. So we go to the pool section of the uh, amusement park. Y'all going to see this exact same swimwear. And these white mesh pants, I got them from a store in Houston called Fashion House like two years ago. Yeah. Of course, Ethan and Ashley found a basketball court. <laughs> I'm a bad vlogger. We're back at the room. We um, went to the hotel pool. Actually, the hotel pool is having renovations, so they have an agreement with the hotel next door, and we use their pool. So, and it's like 25 of us, so we literally all mobbed and took over that pool. I didn't film anything because not everybody want to be on camera. You know what I mean? So, anyway, we're back in the room, taking showers, about to get changed, and then we're going out to eat. Tina. Tina caught a flight out here. <laughs> She's actually on the plane now. She lands in about 30, 45 minutes. Yeah, and then she's gonna ride back home in the car with us. She was like, why didn't you invite me? Why didn't you tell them? Like, Tina, I thought you was working today. Like, she a hairstylist. I'm like, I thought you was working today. No, I got off early today, but you still should have at least told me. I'm like, I'm sorry, Tina. Like, I'm sorry. In the it's in the refrigerator. So anyway, yes. My sister hopped on the bird, <laughs> booked the flight like three hours before it took off, and she's on the flight right now, headed here. She's just gonna share this room with us because I'm like, it's no reason for you to get your own room. There's a whole pull-out bed right there that um, she can sleep in. So, yeah. I just put on my same outfit again because I didn't bring enough change of clothes so yeah i just put this on once again y'all one little shot don't hurt nobody oh i can't even get it open hold on oh there we go what is this this is a deep eddies cranberry made in austin texas and we right by austin so cheers And the scent of the night, Scentbird, of course. You know, they always sponsor your girl and take care of me. Calvin Klein Euphoria. To me, this is like a, a evening scent. This isn't a leggings and sports bra type of scent. You know, this is like, um, I look cute. I'm going out with my girls or... I'm going out with my long time boo, you know. 
But it smells really good, though. I will buy you some more. Baby, I'll buy you some more. It's just chips. Yeah, I told her she could. She said she was hungry. I'll buy y'all more. Like, yeah, that ain't no problem. They just Cheetos. They're downstairs. Yeah, she said she's five minutes away. Okay, y'all, we're at Chili's, and we're literally, like, 30 deep. Tina says she'll be here. In, oh, and that's our table, too. Tina says she'll be here in five minutes. So, I'm starving. Last thing I ate, food-wise, was in the car, a Bucky sandwich. So, and it is 11.30. Hello. Y'all, look who's here. Who's here? Who's here? Oh, I'm talking to the camera, baby. Why they all said, who's here? Who's here? I just know this is sweet. Hi, Ashton. No, I would love to get your attention. I wish they had a lock. They do? They have that social media. Oh, that's cool. They have like a trio just thing. Oh, I didn't hear that. Chicken sandwich, fries. Ashton, Ashton got the pasta. They put cheddar cheese on it. And it's still good. It's not cheddar cheese. It's Parmesan cheese, baby. She's complaining, but stuffing her mouth. Okay, we're pulling out the um sofa bed for Aunt Tina. Ashton. Girl, pull this sofa bed out. How do you pull it? Take the cushions off. Cause take the cushions <laughs> off. Get that out of here. Let me tell y'all how ghetto this hotel is. I it said, we need extra sheets and comforters. They're like, oh, you got to come get it yourself from the front desk. And we what? just walked in. I'm like, what? This is good for Aunt Tina. Why you don't but let can it hold 200 plus pounds. Oh. Oh, Aunt Tina is not sleeping on this. <laughs> she is not sleeping on that. That is. down to the free breakfast y'all tina's instagram story is hilarious oh god her first impressions of the room everything she said i felt the exact same way <laughs> oh god y'all yeah, the executive suite <laughs> Just back in time, <laughs> literally, it's 19. Other than the flat screen, so this is my bed. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Gina. Yeah. I, I feel so spoiled and bougie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fucking way, I'm sleeping. <laughs> it's not possible, <laughs> Ethan and Ashley. Y'all gotta share that. Nah, Ashley's gonna sleep with us. She, she broke down, like, I she started sleep. crying. Yeah. Why are your kids that bougie? Gina, we slept we slept on these when we were their age. Ashley, no, you need to you need to learn. Ashton, come here. Come here, Ashton. Come here. Come here. What? <laughs> Why won't you sleep on this? Me and your mom slept on these when we were your age. Ashton, you why don't you want to eat the breakfast here, Ashton? This is the biggest room they have, and look at this place. <laughs> this Gina, this place you looks have... like it was made in the 1980s. I was made in the 1980s, little. The... Oh Lord, where the stairs at? Okay, she already downstairs eating breakfast, but she about to come back up when I get back when I get down there. This is 
what I'm wearing. Pajama top, leggings, and my light flip flops. And, and voice on deeper than deep. Oh, here go. Here go, right here. Let me cut through. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, sunshine. No. Because I got I got the turkey one and the veggie sausage, hash brown juice, and Tina. The eggs are actually good. Okay, y'all. So we're dressed. We're pretty much all packed up. And I got the prettiest outfit in this place. Bro, no one's talking to you. Place. Let her think. Gotta ask. Move. Anyway, exactly. I'm wearing one of those, those Forever 21 um, sets. This top's a little bit different than the other ones that I have. It comes into like a V, but it's the same seamless leggings, black. Not giving up on skims. I still wear skims, but these just fit so much better and they're so much cheaper. This top was like $6. The bottoms were like 8 Catch them on a good set. Slay your beautiful, gorgeous. Slay! Thank you, baby. I'm waiting for one of y'all to scream Okay. I'm about to take my shot, my ginger shot. She knows you're gonna say something yeah, entertaining. Ethan's not gonna, Ethan don't care. Y'all excited? Y'all ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay, y'all, we're in. The lines aren't long, and it's like not crazy because it's like a the postal service bought it out today, so it's only like friends and family of the workers. You have to see if she's tall enough. <laughs> you don't want to go on this one? I do. Well, I do. And this girl was in the car talking about, I'm not scared of anything. She always want to be by her aunt Tina. First ride is over. That was called the boomerang. You go forward through the loop-de-loops and then backwards. Woo, when I tell y'all my stomach dropped. <laughs> my stomach dropped, oh my gosh. I was gonna cry, I nearly fainted. Ashton, I think Ashton shed a little tear. Yeah, Gina, if I was not next time, she would. It's hot, y'all, so you know, I already know. My face, neck gonna sweat. But it's the USPS, I don't know if I told y'all, it's the USPS Friends and Family. So that's why we got our tickets for so cheap, thank you. And it came with food, so we're eating right now. They have barbecue. And then we're gonna get back to the rides. I'm about ready to uh, jump in some water though, because I'm so hot. Y'all know my road dog, Tanya here. Okay. Tanya and crew. Where's Jayla at? Jayla! Come on! We full now. We about to go get on these rides, y'all. All right, Goliath is what we're headed to. That look like a big bad motherfucker right there. Wait on me. Wait on me. This ride got a whole haunted house. This ride is 
called the Poltergeist. We just wrote the Poltergeist. I'm dizzy. I feel lightheaded. That's mine. Yeah. Y'all and both my titties came out. Both. Thank God Tina turned around at the very end and she saw it. That is both. I almost blew up. I, I was on the ride the whole time like this. Oh my god. Right, go. Wait, go, wait, 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 wait. They're outside, so we're like. My baby's so brave. They're riding everything. Okay, y'all, uh, we're at the water park area now. Uh, my kids are changed into their swimwear and they're gone. I said, Y'all want to wait on me to change into my swim clothes? They said, No. So I made one of them carry their phone inside of one of these protective cases. I'm like, well, y'all stay together and call me. So I'm about to change now. I just bought this expensive ass locker to hold our stuff. Oh, it's a line. Okay, I'm gonna pick y'all back up after I change. Oops, sorry, excuse me. Okay, y'all, your girl has changed. I'm looking like yesterday because I only brought one bathing suit. Watch out. Tina and Tanya, they all said they headed over here. They have no mirrors in none of their bathrooms here, which is so crazy to me. I don't know. I don't know if my titties even, my nipples poking out. I don't know. Because they don't have mirrors nowhere. But I guess I could use my phone. Okay, y'all. Uh, any other footage will probably be on my phone and it's gonna look shitty so I apologize now because it's gonna be in my little phone holder, my little waterproof case. Just grab one. At least that's what we did at Kalahari. It's just empty ones just everywhere and we would just grab one. <laughs> Oh, the one Ethan was gonna get? Oh, you got that one right there? Where's Ethan? Oh, he got one. We all four together, Ethan, Ashton. Ooh. I can see it. We're all connected. <laughs> Which one you want off? You want the blue one? The blue had a drop though, right? Look at her face, y'all. Get you? Oh my god. That's it, y'all. We're done. I couldn't get a funnel cake. I seen somewhere was selling them, but I don't know where that somewhere is. So I got me a churro. We gone. I'm tired. It's hot. Yes, I did, baby.